What time do you want me to close on Friday? Patrick? Same time as always, six o'clock. On Christmas Eve? What? No. Oh. Five o'clock? It's not like I'm asking you to close at five o'clock on Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. Okay, fine. Uh, two. You know, if we're only going to be open until 2, maybe we shouldn't bother opening at all. 2. Got it. Excellent choice. Listen, you memorized all the alarm codes, right? Because I don't want you just jotting them down on some cocktail napkin and leaving them about for Rocco to pick up. Rocco? Then he ends up breaking in here and I have to fire you because he stole all of my flea powder. I memorized them, and I destroyed them, just like you told me. And then I called NASA, and they're going to take the ashes and shoot them out into space. And okay. Way... It'll be fine. Look, don't worry about it. Just go and enjoy your vacation. That'll be $162.43, please. Oh, no. Francois and I agreed to a $10 maximum this year on our Secret Santa gifts. Francois? My Persian. I'll be in the back. Shouldn't be too long now. Just have to take care of a few things here. Probably take the 640. Is that too late? No. Well, that's perfect, actually. Give me a little time to get some shopping done. Two days before Christmas? <laughs> Good luck. You better not be looking for something for me. Well, we're leaving for your sister's tomorrow. I don't know when else I'm going to have Hey, hey, hey. Are you OK? Yeah. You know, we don't have to go tomorrow if you don't want to. My sister will understand. <sighs> no, 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 no. Told her we're going, we should go. Hey. Yeah. I love you, you know. I love you too. We're all cleaned up and back. I was gonna head home unless. What? Unless you wanted to go get a drink or something before you have to pick up Kevin? Actually, I still have some shopping I need to do. Um, haven't gotten Kevin his Christmas gift yet. Trouble in paradise, huh? No. What, what makes you say that? Why'd you wait so long to get him a gift? Uh, I've been busy. You don't think that it's maybe because subconsciously you want to leave him? No. I'm just saying that if you really cared about the guy, you 
would have started planning something like this in March, fall at the latest. Look, if there's some kind of subconsciously motivated reason I haven't purchased Kevin a Christmas gift yet, it's probably the fact that I don't particularly like Christmas all that much. I always thought that my ex-husband was a little, you know, I could call him, set something up. Mandy. Something casual, low-key. Mandy. Coffee, drinks, uh, you know, a random chance encounter. Mandy. Hmm? Mandy, Kevin and I are fine. Kevin doesn't have to know. No. You could use my boat. It's not like I'm using it for anything. So. Wait, 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 wait. You, you want me to take out your ex-husband on the boat that you won in the divorce? Sounds like fun, doesn't it? No. Suit yourself. You know, you can spend the rest of your life alone if that's what you want. Merry Christmas. Yeah. I'm still in here. Hello? Yeah. Who is this? Alden. Well, calm down, calm down. What the? Tell me what happened. When you get to your sister's, call me, OK? I don't want to be up all night worrying the love of my life got bludgeoned to death by some evangelical Bill O'Reilly addict at some Greensboro gas station. You know, it's not like the North Carolina state flag has a picture of Liberace getting the shit kicked out of him. Yeah, well, it's not exactly Palm Springs either. You sure you don't want me to stay? I'd be glad to help out or do whatever you need. We've been over this. Marion would kill us. You know how she is. She's been planning this thing for weeks. She's got the refrigerator stocked with your favorite food. She's got the radio tuned to your favorite kind of music. No, 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 no. You, you go to Greensboro. Spend time with your sister. Catch up. Talk about me. I'll deal with my friend, and if this little crisis of his is anything less than spider eggs in his testicles, I swear I'll put him in a motel and jump on a plane. <laughs> I was kind of hoping we could spend some of the holiday together. We will. I promise. Give us a hug. I thought you were coming in on the train. I was, until it broke down. It broke down? They put me on a shuttle in Buffalo. I don't want to talk about it. Jesus, well, welcome. <laughs> oh, hey. Uh, are you OK? <sighs> Have you ever taken a shuttle slash bus slash train from Chicago to Connecticut? <sighs> Would have been faster if I'd skated. So what, no Kevin? Uh, no. He's uh, spending the holidays with his sister. Miriam? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like Miriam. Yeah. You weren't supposed to go with him, were you? No. Shit. Patrick, you, yes, you were. Mm -hmm. Yes. God damn it. Why didn't you say something? Don't worry about it. I've ruined your holiday now. Look, Alton. OK, take it easy. Come on. You're my friend. You're in distress. Of course I'm going to open my home to you. Nobody should be alone during Christmas. Halloween, maybe, but not Christmas. Which one of these are yours? The um, place looks a lot less Christmassy than when your parents lived here. Yeah, well, my parents could afford it. Do you have any idea how much money my father spent on that stupid Santa's workshop lawn display? 
The one that caught fire and melted and made Santa look like the Nazi at the end of Raiders? Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying that they had to take out a second mortgage or anything, but ugh, it made me give up my guitar lessons. I could have been the next Eddie Van Halen, or at least Ingve J. Malmsteen. They're in Florida now, right? Ugh. Maine, actually. Who retires to Maine? Oh, my God. Is that one of the ones you designed? Hmm? Uh, no, I tried, but... <sighs> you, you want a hand with those? I got it. Where, where should I, um... Here, I'll, I'll take... <sighs> oh, who's the kitty? Liza. Liza. Oh, where, where's David? Uh, she kept beating the shit out of him, so I had to put him down. So, we're gonna talk about my children all night? Or are you gonna tell me what happened? Hmm? You and Claire? Come on, spill. Claire proposed? Wow, congratulations, that's fantastic. No, wait, you wouldn't be here if it was. What happened? I said no. Why? Claire's a Gentile. As in, she's not Jewish? Uh, right. Neither are you. Uh, that's where things get complicated. Um, I converted. To Judaism? Yes. When? About six months ago. You've been a Jew since July? Look, I wanted to tell you. I did. I did. But I, I, I didn't want to tell you on the phone, and it's certainly not the kind of thing you, you know, send in an email. I'm not going to... What, do you think I'd be angry? You're not? Not at all. Why would I be angry? I don't know. I thought you'd, I thought you'd take it as a, a, a personal insult, a negative commentary on the depth and quality of our friendship that I didn't come to you with this information sooner. Kind of stuff doesn't bother me. Your sister did not tell you she was pregnant until her third trimester, and you didn't send her a birthday present. I sent her a card. One of the freebies you gave me, actually. All right, maybe I was a little bitter because she can get married and have babies and do whatever she wants, and I can't. Look, if there's anyone who understands, it's me. Believe me. Look how long it took me to come out of the closet to you and Kirby. Yeah, but uh, when your friends catch you in the locker room with the captain of the football team, that's... Okay, this is about you, not me. <laughs> you know, I told you I was mugged. Yeah. When those three guys jumped me, um, I thought I was dead, Patrick. I mean, I, I thought I was not going to see anyone that I love or kind of love ever again. It wasn't that bad, was it? I was in a coma for two days. You never told me you were in a coma? I mean, what was that like? You know how they say that if you're in a coma and people talk to you, you can, you can hear them? Yeah. You can't. Oh. Yeah. Anyway, um... You know me, I'm not all that, uh, I, mean, I haven't been inside a church since mom and dad died. I, I, I certainly don't pray. Not even in Vegas? Not even on election night. But when I, when I finally came to, um, the guy who brought me in was there, and uh, uh, he was a rabbi at, at this you know, local synagogue. Okay. And... Um, I mean, it's not like he was sitting, you know, vigil or anything, but I, and he checked on me on a regular basis. And I mean, that's, I, I, frankly, I would be lying if I said that I, I wasn't, uh, the guy saved my life, Patrick.
So you're saying that you converted to Judaism because you felt like you owed this guy something? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's no, not at all. No, not at all. As in, how astute of you, Patrick? How well you know me? My gosh, no, I can't it's get just over some of the things that he said. It's like for the first time in my life, it's it's like a light went on. I I, <laughs> I feel like I've got a purpose. You know, I don't mean to negate all the positive things you're feeling right now, Alden. Oh no, go right ahead. But um, we've had this conversation before. Remember when you transferred from UNH to Hofstra and then you went over to Bennington only to drop out just before graduation so that you could take a job at the Boston Globe, only to leave six months later so you could move to New York and get a job at that advertising agency, which you told me at the time was the greatest thing that ever happened to you, which you told me again when you moved to Chicago so you could work for a greeting card company. People, they don't work for the same company for years at a stretch anymore, Patrick. That I mean, statistically speaking... You don't that, see a... No! What were you going to say? Pattern. No. I don't know why, but I, I honestly, I honestly for a minute there thought you were going to be happy for me. I would be, yeah, if you were happy, but you're not. And I know that you're not, because if you were, you wouldn't be calling me at 2 o'clock in the morning. 2 in the morning, your time. Crying on the phone. It was 1 in the morning, my time. Regardless. Claire and I cannot be married. Can't. No. Do you love her? Yes. But? According to the Torah. Okay. In the book of Bemidbar. Okay. Bukas kills a Jewish man for marrying a non-Jewish woman. And in the Jewish tradition, Pinchas is considered a hero, so obviously. You marry Claire and a rabbi shows up to your house and murders you in your sleep. Is that what you're saying? It's not meant to be taken literally. Well, I don't like the subtext of this little story of yours. Terrible. Do as we say under threat of violence? Come on! That's a little medieval, don't you think? You're not getting this at all. Oh, really? Is that so? Yeah, yeah the point of the story... Terrible! ...is not that I personally am going to die, but rather that my faith is. Your faith? Yes. <laughs> what? I'm sorry, you know, when you were 10, you didn't know the difference between the crucifixion and communion. That was a long time ago, Patrick. And by the way, if I'm recalling this correctly, and I see no reason why I'm not, you were the one that was espousing some great love of God and the church and religion. Yeah, I also believed in Santa Claus. Well, you know, no, I don't even, I don't even know why I came here. You came here because your girlfriend threw you out of your apartment, Alden. A beautiful, intelligent woman asked you to marry her, and you said no. I'm gonna go and put these in your room. I was going to make breakfast. So when you say that you're going to make love, do you really mean that you're going to rent porn? I wasn't even supposed to be here. I'm just saying. Of course I'm not going to have any food in the house. I was supposed to be with Kevin. I was supposed to be in Greensboro. Okay, technically I've got cat food if you want to get all anal about it. Did the volume in here depreciate noticeably when I said anal? Is there anything else I can get for you? No, thanks. <laughs> I'm sorry about, uh... I know. That's okay. I'm sorry, too. 
it's just good to see you. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. Hey, do you remember the time that we took- Patrick? Oh, Mrs. Richardson, what a pleasant surprise. This, this is my friend, Mrs. Whitman. Happy holidays. Yes, it's finally starting to grow back in, thank you. Mrs. Whitman's a bit hard of hearing. So I gathered. Patrick owns the grooming shop. Oh, the homosexual. Who's this? Oh, oh, uh, he's, he's just a friend. Um, his girlfriend just broke up with him. What? He just broke up with his girlfriend. I didn't know homosexuals had girlfriends. No, no, no. That one's the homosexual. That one just broke up with his girlfriend. Uh, Alden, this is Mrs. Richardson, and this is... Mrs. Whitman. <laughs> Mrs. Richardson, Mrs. Whitman, lovely to meet you. Mrs. Richardson runs the local vegetable stand. Uh, the freshest produce in Connecticut. Biggest zucchini at the Connecticut State Fair, three years running. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and what do you do, Mrs. Uh, Whitman? She runs the local book club. Isn't that right, dear? Mrs. Whitman's car had an encounter last year with a telephone pole. She hasn't been quite the same since. He's a homosexual, you know. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Have a muffin, dear. So, tell me, how do you know Paul Lind here, Mr. Um... Winslow. Winslow. Were your parents Doris and Alden J. Winslow, Jr.? <clears throat> yes. Oh, son, I'm so sorry. Your parents were good people. Your father in particular, he did my will. I remember he had this um, sculpture on his desk. He said his son made. Maybe you remember. It was supposed to be a bird. It didn't look like a bird. It looked like, I don't know, when Buster got run over by a car. That's what it looked like. Not that you intended for it to look that way, but it certainly didn't look like a bird. That's for damn sure. Uh, Alden designs greeting cards now. <gasps> Did you do that one with the sparrow? On the card, you open it up, it says, Happy Bird Day. Did you do that one? Oh, visiting must be so hard. All those memories. You know, my parents died when I was really young. So. Still. You should talk to Mr. Chase, poor soul. Barney Chase? No, no, no. Didn't you hear? Barney passed away. It was in the paper this morning. Oh, I don't recall. Uh... Well, he wasn't exactly a pillar of the community. They kind of buried it in the back. Aren't the obituaries always in the back? That's what I'm saying. It was behind the obituaries. That's what kind of a rat he was. No, I mean you should talk to his son, Kirby. Kirby? Kirby. He's not dealing with the situation particularly well. You know, it would probably help him if he could talk to somebody who'd been through this kind of thing before. I was just speaking to him. Is that another homosexual? Shh. Would you ladies excuse me? Kirby. Hey. Hey, there he is. <laughs> How you doing? I was just getting ready to call you. You were? Yeah. I can't visit the old stomping ground and not call you. Um, it was a pleasure meeting you, ladies. Have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. <laughs> I take it you heard what happened? Yeah, yeah, just now. Um... Oh, you, you don't have to say anything. Just, you know, I... When's the, um... Funeral? I didn't want to just drive up and drive back. You drove? Oh, yeah. Dallas is crazy this time of year. Plus, I like driving, you know? It gives me time to clear my head. I'm telling you, when you have kids, it's like really the only time you get to turn the radar off. That in the shower? Yeah, not really, no. no. How's that going, by the way? In the shower? Pretty well. I mean, I'm still having a little problem with the loofah, well, but I'm just a so... smack that. <laughs> kids, adoption, Actually, remember? Adoption? Uh, Kirby, you remember Alden. Alden J. Winslow the third. My God, Jesus! <laughs> I haven't seen you since. Uh, whew, I just did the math and it gave me a headache. 
Yeah, and high school was a long time ago. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You look great, man. Patrick tells me you're living in New York. Chicago. I love Chicago. Love Chicago. Been to the baths on Division Street? No. No. What about the uh, Berghoff? Berghoff. Mm -mm. Uh, what about the uh, the Drake? Uh, I, I don't know what that is. Oh my god, you don't know what the Drake is? It's a hotel. Oh my god, you gotta go. Look, next time you're in town, you really gotta check it out. I mean, it's a, it's a little pricey. You just said I live there. No, you're right. You just said um, You just said that, didn't you? I just said that I said that. Right, 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 right. Well, you gotta check it out anyway. Beautiful Wayne Scotting. What brings you back to Wasp Country? I'm um, just visiting. I'll be staying with me for a few days. Oh, OK. Oh, hey. It's like that movie with the guy and the thing. You good at cards? Oh, Kevin's a shark. Don't let him fool you, you know? One minute you're, you're telling him what a flush is, the next he's got your pants. <laughs> Win those back for me, would you? Kevin isn't, I mean, oh. he's down at his sister's. Oh, oh. No, you don't understand. It's not like that. No, like hey, that. man. Normal relationships tough enough. I can only imagine. Kevin and I are fine. We just. You know what? It's my fault. I kind of got some time off work. It was a last minute thing. Are you, uh, are you going to do anything fun while you're here? A little antiquing, maybe, huh? You know what you gotta do? You gotta go down to the, the liquor store where that weird looking Santa used to hang out front, you know what I'm saying? You know? Anybody ever figure out what sex that, uh... <laughs> no. Megan. What? Huh? Her name is Megan. Her? Oh. Well, uh, there you go. Mystery solved. How do you... Uh, she owns a basset hound named Magnum. Who would have thought that washing people's pets could be so revealing? Tell me about it. Mm. Oh, you know, they, uh, they still do that, that uh, Christmas pageant down at the church that, you know, that we all used to... Uh... Unfortunately, yes. Oh, we got to go check that out. We could have a live drinking contest, too. That'd be fun. God, Patrick, it's kids. It's, it's children in a play. You can't even... I don't want to go because it's going to be bad, not because it's in a church. OK. Paul Carmichael still use that chatty Kathy doll as a baby Jesus. It's a word on the street with that guy anyway, you know? To Jesus? Jesus, no. Father like Carmichael. You know, didn't you think he was a little, like, you know, like off? Actually, I heard he was killed in a boating accident. Well, there's got to be some sort of, you know, Christmas thing, thing that you guys can do around here. Alden doesn't celebrate Christmas anymore. What'd you do, convert? <laughs> Holy shit, you did! Yeah. Wow. A lot's changed since high school, huh? Oh, and how, you know? You got a new lifestyle, this one's got a new god. Not exactly new. No, hey, man, seriously, bully for you guys, you know? Religious freedom, gotta love it. That's what made this country great. You could be an atheist, I could be a Catholic, you can be a... Jewish? You can be Jewish. Sounds like the start of a joke. Catholic, Jew, and an atheist walk into a bar. Yeah, maybe we should do something tonight. Tonight? Ah, yeah, come on, why not, if you're up for it? No, you know, tomorrow Tomorrow would be much better for me. Didn't you say your father's funeral was tomorrow? No, oh, sure, but, you know, it would end early. We can go out afterwards. Go, well, fucked up. It's okay with you, right, Alden? Good, let's do it. <laughs> Good to ah, see you. Good to see you, too, man. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow. Kirby? Alden. <laughs> Kirby looked well considering, don't you think? I don't really know the man all that well, Patrick, so I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to say one way or the other. What do you mean you don't know him all that well? We were always hanging out in high school. It's not like he's some stranger, like, you know, that girl over there. I don't know, wait. It's Mrs. Wilson's daughter. <laughs> she has a Yorkshire terrier named Rainbow. Ironic, because, you know, terriers are usually brown, brown and, brown, yeah. Right. <sighs> Oh, terrific. Now she's waving. Great. Hey, <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> I hate seeing clients out in the real world. How many checks that woman's bounced? What about him? 
He's kind of cute. Maybe we should know him. <laughs> Maybe we would. Don't look. Look, I was only friends with Kirby by default, okay? I mean, I know you, you know him, so yes, we ended up in the same room together a lot, but it's not like we ever did anything on our own. I mean, that conversation I had with him back in the restaurant just now is literally the first time I've seen the guy since graduation. You guys never even kept up in a kind of random and frequent sort of way? Nope. I mean, I know what's going on with him, kind of, because you're always talking about him. I always just assumed. Not that I'm not interested. I remember Kirby's dad didn't come to graduation. I remember that was kind of a big deal but not as big a deal as it should have been, which I remember thinking was odd. Yeah, Kirby never really got along with his dad. Divorced more times than I can count. Kirby doesn't like to talk about him. No, that doesn't remind me of anybody else I know. Who, me? I'm just saying, eventually you are going to be in exactly the same situation that Kirby's in. My relationship with my father is just fine, thank you very much. He's made it quite clear. Are you saying that, God forbid, something should happen to your dad, you're not going to regret all these years of not talking to oh, him? Oh, we talk, we communicate. My mom tells me what's going on. Patrick. Yes, how did this conversation end up about me? I don't want you to go through what I went through, okay? I, Look, I want my father you has made it quite clear, okay? The ball is in his court. Okay. Did I tell you about the Christmas cards? What, from your parents? Yes. Well, if they send you a Christmas card, that's a good sign, right? Oh, they send me a Christmas card every year. That's not the problem. Well, what's the problem? Well, the problem is they know I live with Kevin. They know Kevin's my life partner, but they refuse. They absolutely refuse to put Kevin's name on the card. Now, that's insulting and embarrassing. What am I supposed to tell Kevin? What do you tell Kevin? Nothing. I throw it away before he can see him. It makes me crazy. Well, well what? You're aware that your parents have a hard time with the fact you're gay, right? Yeah, well, you know what? Get over it, okay? I'm their son. They're supposed to love me unconditionally, period. End uh, of story, okay. good day. Okay, yes, yes, but, I mean, in effect, in a sense, with you saying that, aren't you the one that's putting the, you know, the conditions on the relationship? It is not a condition. There's a, that's the way it okay, is. Yeah, and, and another thing. Y yes? You're living in their house, and that's gotta be... <laughs> Whose side are you on anyway? No. I, they don't live there anymore. I know that. I, I bought that house I above know, market I, value, I'll have I you know, know. I know that. I'm just saying it could be a little weird. It's not like I'm asking them to come over and watch Kevin and I blow each other every day. We're out in public, aren't we? Yeah. I can't believe I still haven't found a Christmas gift for Kevin. No, I told you, you can give him one of the menorahs I bought. How many of those did you buy anyways? Three. They were on sale. Okay. There's a thrift store right across the street. You can get something there. I am not buying the man of my dreams something that has been used, worn, or urinated on by a homeless person at least twice. And once is okay? Yeah, it depends on the designer. You say I'm a snob. I am not a snob. I'm just clean. Oh. Is that who I think it is? And if you think it's Helen Gurley Brown, it's not. Huh? Editor-in-chief of uh, Cosmopolitan Magazine. Come on. You are so gay. Clean. Mm. So, the great middle school mystery concerning Santa Claus's sex is finally solved. God, I never would have guessed that's a woman under there, not in a million years. Yeah, especially since that beard didn't come with the costume. That's, that's not... Well, hey, slip her 20 bucks. Maybe she'll tell you what Kevin told her he wants for Christmas. Patrick. Patrick, hmm? didn't anybody ever tell you it's not polite to stare? I wasn't. How long have you and Kevin been trying to adopt? I was gonna tell you all, then I swear I was. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't want to tell Kirby either. I didn't want to tell anyone. So... Kevin told him. Big blabbermouth. He had a convention near where Kirby works, so I tagged along for the weekend. We all went out to dinner. You know, I told him before we even left the hotel, I don't want to tell anybody about this. You know, let's just keep it between us. And what does he do? Not two minutes into the conversation, Lynn, you look so beautiful. Did Patrick tell you that he and I are trying to adopt? Give me a cigarette. Hey, 
Yeah, my own damn fault, I guess. Just got my hopes up so high, you know? I remodeled the entire second bedroom. So what happened? I don't know. I think people thought we were gonna dip them in glaze and eat them. You know, for a so-called liberal society, people got a real problem with two. Do I owe you? No, 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 no. I got this one. I, I got it. Absolutely. Really? Absolutely. Mm. I'll get the next one. <laughs> well, thank you. You're very welcome. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Oh, that is strong. <laughs> oh. So, Mr. I know Mr.'s here. Patrick. 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 That's right. So, Patrick, are you just in town for the holidays, or? Uh, business, actually. I'm, uh, I work for an air conditioning company, and we're doing a, like a huge project over at uh, Warehouse 41, so. Um, uh, you mean the old furniture warehouse? Yeah, that's the one. I thought that burned to the ground. No. Mm. No, I don't think so. I hope not. Yeah. It's just me saying out there, hello. <laughs> no, because my husband used to work there. Oh, your husband. Oh, husband. oh, we're not married anymore. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to get you in trouble or anything. <laughs> no, no, we're, we're divorced. Okay. We're divorced, okay. see? Yeah. Can I tell you something? I'm not being too far in here. You have beautiful fingers. Lady fingers. <laughs> yeah, my, my ex-husband used to say that to me all the time. Really? He had a bit of a finger fetish, actually. Oh. He always made me play proctologist. Really? That's, well... So, air conditioning. Huh? Air conditioning. <laughs> <sighs> you know, maybe you're working at one of those other warehouses. There's like a whole bunch of them on that side of town. There's, there's warehouse 41 and a half, and 41 and three quarters, right, and right. 41 and nine fifteenths. Mm. God, I sound like I'm shopping for dribble yeah, bits. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the Home Depot here. Got a rent, please. Uh, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know. It's like there's so many of them over there. It's just, yeah, I, I get these things mixed up all the time. Yeah. But, uh, I, you know, I don't want to talk about air conditioning. I want to talk about you. Tell me all about you. Really? Absolutely. Well, um, I'm a lawyer. Really? Yeah. Well, uh, I used to work for a caterer. Can I get some the peanuts? Oh. Um, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. No, I just... <laughs> um, and then once Frank and I, you know, Frank's my, my ex. Right, right. Um, once we decided to get a divorce, I thought, you know, maybe I should actually, you know, understand all the paperwork that I was being asked to sign. You should understand yeah. it, absolutely. So I started taking some law classes, classes, and then next thing I knew it, I was passing the bar, and then bam! Bam! I was a lawyer. Yeah, how do you beat that? <laughs> yeah. Hello, stranger, long time no see. You know, we keep running into each other like this, people are gonna start talking. Hello, Minta, how's Rivet doing? Oh, he's good. His sores are all, oh, they're almost completely healed. Oh, you just have to remember to keep him groomed. Know. You know, you know Mindy? Minta. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm sorry. That's what I meant. You've been a client what now? Two, three years? Uh, five. Five? No. Get out of here. Really? Yeah. Can you believe it? That's like that's like half a decade. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know Alden here? Alden, this is uh, Minda. You know. Uh, Minta. 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 I'm sorry. Yeah. From the I'm Greek. I'm sorry. Right? Yeah. Here it was. I thought you were the school teacher. <laughs> I thought you said you worked for an air conditioning company. I. Teach air conditioning? The good news is she was drinking vodka, so that's not going to stain. But um, the bad news is I think you're going to need a new cell phone. Oh, great. Why'd she think uh, you worked for an air conditioning company? It's a long story. Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact you're not wearing your wedding ring now, would it? The cold happens to make my fingers swell. See? <laughs> Barkeep, get three beers, three shots. <sighs> Maybe we should talk about something else. Oh, I think that's a great idea. That's a fantastic idea. Alden, you lived in New York. Are the rats as big as they say? 
How big are they supposed to be? Big. Big. Yeah. Big, like Staten Island big, big like Costco block of cheese big. OK, what? you know what? I am not spending $8 a drink so we can sit here and talk about cheese. We were just trying to catch up. Isn't that right, Alden? You see? You know, Kirby, I know you're going through a tough time right now, and I'm sure all of this happening during the holidays isn't making things any easier. But, yes, do you want to talk about anything? Uh, <clears throat> no. See, I'm a monster man myself. <laughs> Alden, you got a girlfriend? Why, you want to go skiing some weekend? Oh, 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 oh touch him. <laughs> Alden just broke up with his girlfriend. I... Oh, I'm sorry, man. Did you, did you like her, or was it more? Yes, I did. I don't even know what this is. She asked him to marry her. She asked you? Wow, how progressive. God, I bet she was a tiger in bed. Excuse me? I'm just saying, if she had the balls to ask you, I'm sorry, was that a little crass? Hutzpah. She had the hutzpah to me. <laughs> he said no. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, wait a minute. So how does this work now? Do you guys do you guys still get to be fuck buddies or? You know, Alden, maybe it's good that you said no. I mean, better than taking a vow in front of friends and family and and God, if you're just gonna run around like a like a monkey in a zoo or Patrick. Seriously. What? Lynn and I have an, an unspoken understanding. Unspoken as in she doesn't know? I mean, Lynn doesn't mind you, uh, you know, using your father's funeral as an opportunity for you to cheat on her? I mean, is she at home covering uh -uh. a florist in uh, whipped cream and, you know, and, and strawberries? Who the hell do you think you are? You know, you're a hell of a person to be lecturing somebody on what's righteous and what isn't, you know that? I mean, at least my sins are forgivable. You know, a couple Hail Marys, I mean, now, boom, 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 end of story, no harm, no foul. But like your lifestyle, on the other hand, I mean, come on. Nice. Hey, Claire uh, dated a florist once. No, I'm sorry, not a florist, uh, flautist. Patrick. Patrick. Hey, I got an idea. What? I say, we take this show on the road. Come on, it's early. Let's do something fun. We need to seriously reevaluate your definition of fun. Ah, oh, come on, it's a beautiful day. If by beautiful you mean Artinian. Artinian? Yeah, as in as cold as the Arctic. Hello? Now you're just making up words. Yes, exactly. I'm just making up words. Isn't that the first sign of dementia? You want me clucking like a chicken for the rest of my life? Come on, get the blood going. Ugh, there's mud, okay? Fun does not involve mud. Patrick, what is life without a little adventure? Or excitement? Or adventure? I'm just glad I don't have to pay for this little adventure. You want to tell us how the shovel works into this whole thing? You're not a big Stephen King fan, are you? Do you two seriously not know where we are? I know where I'm not. Somewhere warm. Anywhere warm. Weren't you in, like, the top 10% of our class? Yeah. Never got an A either. What's that say about the rest of you people? Why? You seriously don't know where we are. Jeez. It's the Pilchard Farm. Pilchard? Which way is north? The Pilchard Farm was right next to our old high school, right? You got it. The gym's over that way. We have to get out of here. Why? Why? Pilchard was a maniac. Pilchard was a- What? The football incident. Remember? I'll be in the car. Wait, wait. What's the football incident? I'll tell you in the car. 
Supposedly. Not supposedly. You make it sound like the Loch Ness Monster, like a rumor. It is a rumor. No, it's not. Do you know somebody who actually... I, I know saw... somebody who knows somebody. Can I have the keys, please? No. What's the goddamn football incident? Okay, okay. One day, during football practice, they were working on their kicks, and supposedly, this one kid just like, boom, right? Regular Adam Vinatieri, this kid. I mean, this thing was beautiful. Practically puts it into orbit, right? Boop, 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 boop. Lands right on Pilchard's property, right? All right, so he goes to get the ball back. Everybody else gets back to practice. A little while later, while they're running the scrimmage, right? Hut, hut, boom! No. Yes. He shot him? Supposedly. How do you explain the fact that nobody, not his parents, nor his friends, ever saw him again? That's a story, anyway. It's not a story. It's not Lyle Lyle Crocodile. It's true. It happened. No, it didn't. It couldn't have. One person says it happened during a football practice. One person says it happened during a soccer practice. One person said it happened during a field hockey practice. And I actually had one jackass say it happened during a sailing match. In the woods. Look, you can believe whatever you want to believe, OK? But I live here, remember, OK? I've seen Pilchard out in the real world, at the laundromat, at the grocery store, at the liquor store. I've even seen him at the spa. <sighs> God, the man makes my blood run cold. It's just. He's a little. Yeah, well, I'd be a little too if my name was a synonym for sardines. It was written on my desk in the English room. My desk had the word nipple written at least 10 different languages. Yeah, well, my desk had a picture of the three of us being chopped up into little pieces by Mr. Fishy if we don't get out of here. That's a great idea, Pat. You should have left this stupid town years ago. No, I was, I was talking about this field. You did? Yeah. Well, well, you do hate it here, Pat. Yeah, I hate it here in this field. No, in this town. You hate it here in this town. No, I don't. You were just complaining about it. No, I wasn't. See, that's what I don't understand. I mean, you're, you're, you're smart, you're funny, you're clean. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, you're a hard worker. You know, it's not like you wouldn't be able to plant steak somewhere else, man. Go where you want, man. At least then you might, you know, be happy. This is where my home is. This is where your house is. And technically, it's not even your house. It's your father's house. No, I know. I know you bought it from him and everything, but like, you know, it doesn't matter how many times you change the window curtains, Pat. It's, it's always going to be his house. What about San Francisco or, or Austin or don't you know, some, you know somebody in Chicago? Me, goddammit. I can't move as long as Kevin works in the city. So move to the city. <laughs> yeah, and live in a shoebox with the cast of Watership Down. No thank you. Wait, Watership Down? Yeah. Rats? Hello? Yeah, Watership Down's about rabbits. Rabbits, rats, they both start with R. Rabbits and rats, they both start with R. Pat, we just want you to be happy, man, that's all. I am happy. The only reason I'm not smiling is because I can't move my lips. I'm, I'm happy, really. Besides, as long as you and Alden are out there in the real world telling me what's really going on, I am happy. <laughs> I love this man. Oh, I love this man. <laughs> Was there a reason you dragged us all out into the middle of what seems almost destined to become a Wes Craven movie? <laughs> okay. All right. Remember senior year? That party, what's his name? Threw? Kobe Pinkwater. Co Kobe Pinkwater. Right. Good memory. He's in the Air Force now. You know, that's still the best party I've ever been to, even now, which is kind of sad. Eh. Any party where Volvo actually ends up inside the house. All right. Do either one of you remember where that house was, by any chance? It was around here somewhere, wasn't it? We passed it on the way in. Someone else owns it now, some petless couple. OK. The three of us were at that party, correct? It's kind of a blur, but yeah. Do you remember what we did at like 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning? Was that before or after the cops? After the cops, but uh, before the National Guard. Oh, they only showed up because Susan Peterson's father was in the National Guard, and she was stupid enough to call him for some idiotic reason. I think she just wanted a ride. She got one, all right, in a tank. Nobody got a ride in a tank. It had treads. It was an armored personnel carrier. It was a totally different... They made the ground rumble. I thought we were being invaded. By who, Rhode Island? I wouldn't put it past them. They're state birds of chicken. Anything's possible. OK. We missed all of that, remember? We were somewhere else. We were here. OK, keep going. Here it comes. And there was a whole group of us. It was you, me, him, Dennis Munez. Hernandez. Hernandez, and oh, that cute stoner Austria kid. 
what was his name? Uh, uh, Hans? Hans. Uh, uh. Barlow. Barlow. Hans. Barlow. <laughs> Good one. Why were we here? Time capsule. <laughs> Bingo. Is that why you dragged us all the way out here? Do you remember what we buried? No. Do you? No. Neither do I. <laughs> oh, come on, it'll be a hoot. Come on, I'm curious as hell, aren't you guys? No? When is the next time the three of us are gonna be in the same zip code together? I mean, we buried this thing, we should dig it up. And we have to dig it up. Someday they're gonna come through here, they're gonna pave all this over, and they're gonna, they're gonna put a super something here, or a mall. Or a, or a strip, strip something, or a, or a Petco. Hey, don't you think sometimes maybe, just maybe, the past is best left in the past? I mean, geez, I, I don't remember a whole lot about this party, but I do remember it was a great fucking party. What if we dig this thing up and I find out that my memories are wrong or that I, I, they've been changed or embellished in my mind? It's definitely a tank. Just, some things are best left forgotten. You peel an onion, it's gonna make you cry. But think of all the wonderful things that you get to eat with it. Like that thing of chilies, you know? What is it called? It's a golden brown or something. What is the point of burying a time capsule if you're not gonna come back one day and dig the fucking thing up? It was your idea to bury this thing in the first place, you know? It was? Yes. I was just trying to get in that cute Austrian boy's pants. Bloomin' Onion. Bloomin' Onion. Bloomin' Onion. What? what? The theme song came into my head. The, what I was trying to think of before at Chili's, the Blooming Onion. And no, that's the one from Outback. You know, Bloomin' Onion, you know, the Australian. Bloomin'. Bloomin'. Fucking I think I did this on myself. You guys hear a car? Oh, stop worrying, Nelly. Oh. Maybe we should light one of your menorahs for warmth. You know what we should do? Oh, shit. What? I forgot to buy candles. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Uh, is that it? I don't know. Jordash? Well, if that doesn't say 1988. <laughs> I can't believe they didn't fix that stupid window yet. I can't believe you're naive enough to think that this place would actually pay to fix anything. I can't believe how close we almost came to actually getting killed. I mean, I haven't had a run like that since Peter tried to recruit me in college. I think it twisted my ankle in one of your stupid holes. Just when I get to tell you guys I told you so, because I told you so. Okay, it's, it's not like anybody got hurt. Do I just talk and you don't hear? Well, no one's gonna be filling you with embalming fluid anytime soon, that's my point. <laughs> what I wanna know is why in a moment of extreme panic, we all made the stunningly unwise decision to run in the opposite direction of the vehicle. How can you run like you just did? It still leaves so many words. Hey, what? I opened the box. Fire. Well, um, 
on the plus side, it does get better the more you drink. If you don't like it, don't drink it. All I'm saying is that perhaps a man who works for the sanitation department shouldn't try to make wine. He didn't get in the back of... It's not like he was out crawling around the... the... He worked in the office, okay? One has absolutely nothing to do with the other. Yeah, yeah, but... Yes? What? Oh, um, didn't some woman try to sue your uncle? Excuse me? It was all over the papers the year we graduated. Um, she said she got food poisoning from a bottle of wine. Allegedly, she got food poisoning. Is that why he stopped making it? No, he stopped making it because he retired. Yes, but did he retire because some woman got food poisoning? <laughs> <laughs> because he had a heart attack. Is that the um... last batch? 1988. Ah, the year we graduated. That's a great present. <laughs> I thought so. <laughs> it does taste a little like vinegar, which is perhaps a, a whisper of Robitussin. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony gave it to me as a graduation present. He told me not to drink it at the time. He said, uh, said I wouldn't appreciate it. <laughs> so of course I took it to Pinkwater's house. <sighs> God. And I got there and I was around those people. And I just didn't want to share it with them, you know? I just I hated high school so much. God, I miss him. So, I figured I'd bury it, you know? You know, eventually one day I'd dig it up and uh, share it with a bunch of people I actually cared about. See, look at how this worked out. Yeah, well, it hasn't actually worked out for me yet there, Kerb. <laughs> <laughs> what else is in the box? <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Mm. So the Dukakis campaign is up and running. <laughs> you see, some things best left forgotten. <laughs> this is the first presidential campaign I could vote in. And uh, I voted for him. Mm. Yeah, so did I. Probably the reason I became a Republican. <laughs> oh, we've got here now. Oh, nice. Get out of my dreams. Get into my car. <laughs> <laughs> I was listening to Billy Ocean. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wake Me Up Before You Go Go. There is a reason why that's in the time capsule. It's not like I put the Breakfast Club soundtrack in there. Yeah, I don't blame you. I guess I could have put the Falco collection in. Does one song actually constitute a collection? Oh, snap. I don't remember you having any records with you at the party. Oh, yeah. An old crate of them. You did? Yeah. I used to make people mixtapes all the time. I never got one. You never invited me to any of your parties. Yes, I did. No. Patrick were at my house all the time. No, you guys I would like a fixture at my house. Patrick's platonic different thing. Like, hey, 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 hey. There is an order to this, a sacred order. Uh, uh. It's an old TV guy. Oh, is that the one with the Golden Girls on the cover? Let me see. Oh, I wonder who put that one in there. <laughs> Big surprise. <laughs> hey, I didn't know they were a gay icon at the time. Uh-huh. Huxtables. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just maybe spit up. I actually think we should be drinking this. Well, it's a little late now, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, after the story you told me about your uncle. I don't know, I just kind of feel kind of guilty. You feel guilty about <sighs> this, but not about cheating on your wife? <laughs> Alden. <laughs> oh. No, Carrie. No, no, you know no, what? no, no, you know what? Don't, really. The hell do you think you are, man? I mean, who are you to judge me? You don't know anything. So I don't know about me and my wife. Why don't you figure your own screwed up life before you start talking about other people's, huh? Hey, I got a great idea. 
Why don't we flip a coin? We'll figure out what religion Alden's going to be next week. Kirby. Kirby. I'm going to be a Buddha. Oh, Kirby. Be a Muslim. What? Knock it off. You knock it off. Asshole. I swear, man. More things change. Alden. What? Leave it alone. What? Are you, are you defending this guy now? No. After what he said, he, after he essentially says that you're going to hell, that, you're, that your actions and your lifestyle are unredeemable, I mean, isn't that why you left the Catholic Church, Patrick, to avoid that kind of antiquated, small-minded feeling? Weren't you just telling me that? It's all right. I get it. What? I get it. I tell you that I have found something that, that gives purpose and, and meaning to my life, and because it doesn't fit in with your worldview and, and your interpretation of my situation, I get read the riot act. Kirby, on the other hand, he insults you personally. You're, he attacks your identity, who you are, and, and, and suddenly you're, you're, you're like Snoopy and, his, and the... And the, the, the Woodstock. Meanwhile, I'm... Fuck. Did you even read Peanuts? Franklin. There is a fucking Franklin in Peanuts. I think the character you're fishing for is Lucy. Oh, Lucy, am I? Is that how it's gonna be? Kirby is going through a thing right now. And I'm not... You know, we don't believe in hell, by the way. Just just kind of, uh, um, we, my people. Okay. Look what I found. Oh, I mean, what the hell? Uh, point. What point? What, ah, Jesus Christ. Jesus. Come on, don't be such whims. It's not like these are hot cups of coffee, syringes, bricks. Hey, I, I don't want to. Come on, it's just a game. And that's two, by the way. Two, and here comes three. Oh. God, all right, all right. That's it. Come on, bring it on. Uh, maybe we should get back to the car. What, now? Yeah, now. <laughs> don't, yeah. Look. Oh, come on, this is the stupidest thing I have ever seen you do. Come on, Patrick. You have played dodgeball before. I've seen you. Oh, is that what this is? <clears throat> well, it's certainly not Monopoly. Yeah, obviously. Nobody gets hurt in Monopoly. Ah, son of a... Men. Clean all this up. Shit. What's the matter? The funeral. Shit. Rebecca Wick was a woman of the highest moral character a woman loved by her family and friends. 
and community. She will be missed, of course, but we must endeavor to remember today not the sadness of her parting, but of the joy and warmth she left on all of our lives. Rebecca Wick was a woman. Chase. I'm sorry. Barney Chase. Oh. I'm sorry. I m must be. The Wick service was this morning. I'm so sorry. It's fine. Just Barney Chase was a woman of man. the man, man, man of the highest, highest moral character. He will be missed, of course. But what we must endeavor to remember today is not the set. Oh goodness! Shoot! I think he's doing, I think he's doing great. I know that you said that Kirby and his dad weren't that close or anything, but I mean. I know your situation wasn't like this. I mean, you had a great relationship with your parents. They took you to the park, they took you to the zoo, they took you to Paris. Between that and the fact that you were just a kid when they died, I mean, and how frustrating it is for you to see families that don't like each other. You're thinking, how dare they take for granted something I don't have anymore? Don't they see the opportunities they're wasting? Don't they get it? Well, let me tell you the sad, unfortunate, and in your case, ironic truth. Most families don't like each other. It's a little bit cynical. Maybe. Not entirely untrue. You and your mom. Me and my mother get along fine, yeah, compared to me and my dad, but I wouldn't exactly call us friendly. We go shopping together, we play cards, we made ice cream the last time we saw each other. <laughs> well, yeah, well, she reads an article about Massachusetts allowing same-sex marriages. She starts talking about the end of civilization. Listen, do you wanna get out of here? I'm fine, I'm good. I mean, I know this probably makes you really uncomfortable and everything. Okay. I, look, I lost my family a long time ago, Patrick. It's not like I start bawling every time I watch four weddings and a funeral. Ezekiel doing? Oh, uh, he's, uh, he's fine. Listen, what's the deal with that guy anyway? He's a little self-involved, don't you think? Uh, he's been through a lot. He was mugged a few months back. He, uh, he was in a coma for two days. It was obviously a traumatic experience for him. Obviously. Two days, right? Really. Yeah. I just found out about myself, actually. He didn't tell you? No, but I didn't exactly tell him that Kevin and I were trying to adopt either, so. So you guys are close then? Can I ask you something? Yeah. Do you. You know what? <laughs> we should. If a man lies with another man as he lies with a woman, they have done what is detestable. They should be put to death. Their blood would be on their own hands. Are you quoting Caligula? That's Leviticus. I know what it is. What, what is this? Do you believe that? Patrick. Do you think I... I'm going to hell? Do you think my lifestyle is unredeemable? Oh, man, I, didn't, I, I never meant to hurt you. I, I'm sorry I, I said what I said. I, 
It was more out of, uh, I'm sorry. I pray for you every Sunday, Pat. I mean, what? Well, what do you pray for specifically? I pray that one day maybe you'll meet the right girl. Okay. What? Well, this is who I am, Kirby. I can't change it. How do you know that, man? How do you because know that? Because I do, that's how, because it is. Okay, I'm not gonna argue with you, it's your life. Thank you. You know, we used to think that the Tower of London was built by the Romans too, did you know that? That's, that's not true. In reality, it was William the Conqueror. Shakespeare perpetuated this entire myth. You saved the history lesson for your students. I'm just saying that sometimes the truth is, is a little more elusive. Sometimes we don't know what's hey. true. Hey. Hey. No, it's like a, it's like a deep fat fried thing. It's like chicken fingers. No, they have them in chilies. It's like a um. Is that Monte Cristo? No, it's made out of onion. It's like a... Um, like an onion loaf? Yeah, it's in that family. It's like an upside-down bunt cake made out of thing. It's got like a tangy sauce on it. Is it like a tip potato it. boat? No, no, it's not a boat. It's like a... I'm starting to see what you meant about the... Um... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who in their right mind gives their own family... Would have given technically. You know, I had an aunt once that used to give out driftwood art. <laughs> hey. <clears throat> Having fun? Hey. Mm. Mm. How you doing? Mm. Mm. Well, I got a free sweater. Not doing too bad. <laughs> Drinks are pretty good, too. You know, he never wanted to pay his alimony, but he always had a really good bottle of vodka behind the park. I love him. Are you drunk? I just had a crab cake and accidentally, well, ate the napkin. <laughs> okay, so yes. You know, he just lost his dad, so. No, yeah. I didn't. He's right here. Hello. Uh, dad, I gotta borrow the car tonight. <laughs> 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 I lost my dad a long time ago, man. Mm. Patrick's dad was more of a dad to me, honestly. Seriously, uh, you guys don't have to, uh, you guys don't have to hang here if you don't want. Maybe you need to go somewhere or do well, something. Or... Actually, we don't, we don't mind. It's fine. You drove. Oh, right. OK. Um, could you guys just like hang out for a little bit? I'm sure this thing will be over soon. We can even get a beer afterwards if you, hey. Damn. That's nice. Look, uh, is your mom here? Uh, did, did, did she show up? Because My mother? Oh, you mean the woman who left me at the hospital when I was born? No. Hmm. Well, sadly, today it's just me. Me and the women that uh, Dad was married to, then divorced from, who are all only here because they think they're getting something in the will, which, God, I hate to inform them, doesn't exist. At least we'll all be warm. Uh, Kirby, how many times was your dad married? Six. What? Here, let's do the rundown, shall we? Hold my dad, please. Okay, from the top. All right, uh, Annabelle uh, worked at Radio City Music Hall. Oh, were you a dancer? We just ticket taker. Uh, Beth uh, was his insurance broker for a while. You, you still drink vodka, Beth? There we go, we'll just trade that off. Maureen, Maureen was married to one of his golf buddies. Ted, I believe. Um, let me see here, what am, I, what am I at here? Three. Three, um, Jamie, uh, Jamie was a waitress. Um, Barbara, hello Barbara. Barbara, I hate to tell you this, Barbara he married because she had a house with a pool. Uh, not to mention a very attractive young babysitter named Amy, which brings us to magic number six, Amy, a very attractive young babysitter who worked for a woman with a pool. Oh, God, did I happen to mention that I was dating Amy at the time? Oh, yes, oh boy. I can't tell you how happy I was to have it revealed to me in the inevitable slip up that happens in all affairs when I, the boyfriend, inadvertently discovered a present that the little minx had picked up for the man she was seeing when she was supposed to be seeing me. My own father. <laughs> you never told me that story. I mean, I throw the word father around because let's be honest, how much fathering did the guy do anyway, you know? 
I mean, you were all there. You all saw it. You know how many sweaters I have? I, I can insulate a house with these sweaters. You bought them in August. You want to know why you bought them in August? Because they were cheaper. Because they were, because they were cheaper. Because they're home cheaper. Because they're home cheaper. Freaking cheaper. Oh, my drink. OK, pal. What? Maybe we should go. I don't think I could take this, loser. He's a really nice guy once you get to know him. Scott. Huh? My name is Scott. Kick his ass, you, baby. You're not helping. Why don't you just apologize to the apologize. lady? Apologize? Apologize for what? I don't For the part where you just called his girlfriend. Fiance. Oh, boy. <laughs> Amy is my fiance. <laughs> that slut is your fiance? What street were we supposed to turn on? Left on Cyprus, right on Harvest. I thought you said right on Cyprus. Cyprus is first. I, I know that Cyprus is first. Harvest is second. Oh, we're all right. I've got that. Ne just never mind. I'm, we'll be fine. OK. Are you sure he's OK to drive? He's fine. Because he, well, he got hit pretty hard back there. Yeah, by you. Oh, what do you want from me, man, OK? I, did, I said I was sorry, all right? I didn't mean to hit you. I meant to hit him. I had to knock his fucking Kirby, off. Kirby, what? Enough. I just don't want to wind up wrapped around a tree or something, OK? Well, I got to get used to this thing to get home, so be careful when you're driving. You're in no condition to drive, and I can't drive stick. Can you believe this guy? Alden, I'm serious. Seriously. Seriously. I, I, I'm the one who gets hit. I'm the one that's got to go to the hospital, and all you can talk about is this fucking car. This is, this is unbelievable. Does anybody exist in your little world except you? Truly. This was supposed to be my time with Patrick. I, I did not come all this way, a, a, a third of the way across the nation, via modes of transportation that were out of date by the fucking Carter administration, just to listen to your goddamn bullshit. Okay? I've got my own fucking problems. Patrick and I were just fine before you showed up. I'm sorry that my father's funeral disturbed your little therapy session that you had with Pat, okay? It's not like you haven't been here the whole fucking time. You want to say something, say it, you know? Damn it, man. You know, sometimes all you, you got to get in the ring, man. You got to, like, you know, get in there, get a few shots. You want to say something, you say something. And you got to be able to take a few shots, too, you know? Get hit a few times. Stay in there. Deal with your shit, you know? Instead of running like all you do all the time, you know? Been that way since your parents died, man. You just run, 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 run. And now you're running from this girl, you know? What, what, what's, what's her name? Claire. No, 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 the one in Chicago. Claire! You can tell me this is like a, a coincidence here that you converted? Jesus. <laughs> My God. <laughs> you knew it was going to be a deal breaker with this girl. Well, you can do what you want now. You can run from her, too. You run from everything else. Yeah, because you, you never run. run. That's what you do. No, you I don't never run. run. No, you I know don't run, nothing actually. about running, do you, Mr. Commitment? <laughs> I, got, I got a news flash for you, OK? You're not cool, Kirby, OK? This shit that you pull, not cool. You are not a party boy who loves women. You are a drunk who cheats on his wife. There's a fucking difference. Last call was 20 goddamn years ago. You still have to have one more broad and a beer. Oh my god. I, I bet your wife thought this whole frat boy thing that you do was really cute when you first met, but I promise you this. I promise you this. She thought you were going to grow out of it just like everybody else, and no, you didn't, and that's not cool. And cool's not caring, cool's dispassionate, detached, and hey, you care. Oh, you try to act like you don't, but you care. You care distinctly, you care desperately. Y you can smell it rolling off of you. I, I bet you think that your kids in your class think you're the cool teacher too, right? Oh, God, they can smell it, man. They smell loser. You just keep running, okay? You just keep doing what you do. Just running like a little scared little rabbit. I'm not a fucking rabbit. Oh, yeah, you're, you're a fucking rabbit. You're the fucking rabbit. You're the fucking rabbit. You're the fucking rabbit. You're the fucking rabbit. Stop the car. What? Stop what? the car. What? Stop the car. What? Stop what? The car. What? what? Because I have no fucking idea where we are.
Is he yelling at us? I have no idea. Roll the window down. Like a couple of guinea pigs. Me, 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 me. Can't we all just get along for five fucking minutes? I mean, if you're going to intentionally ruin my holiday, can you at least do it quietly? Oh, 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 we ruined your holiday? Come on, Alden, seriously, you don't think, you don't, you show up at my house on my doorstep, I'm supposed to house you and feed you and, and, and pat you on the head like a kid for doing something moronic? I was supposed to be with Kevin. I was supposed to be in Greensboro. <laughs> you didn't want to go to Greensboro. Who died and made you Dr. Phil? Well, it's pretty fucking simple, Patrick. If you'd wanted to go to Greensboro, you would have gone. And technically, by the way, I paid for breakfast. So don't start bitching about having to feed me. You think I'd rather be here with you than with my own boyfriend? My arrival did not. You know what? You were elated when I called. My timing couldn't have been more perfect. Oh, I can't go to Greensboro. No, no, I can't abandon a friend in need. Not at Christmas. <gasps> Thanks a lot, by the way, Patrick. It's really nice to know that my problems and our friendship mean so much to you. Yeah, well. Right back at you there, bucko. Patrick! What? You know, you guys are as bad as the rest of these people! Man, you really gotta get over this persecution complex thing you got going on. You think I'm so screwed up, huh, Kirby? Why don't you go and pray for me then, huh? Okay. Why don't you go find a little fucking chapel and fucking pray for me, okay. huh? Okay, okay. Patrick, okay. why, why don't you come back, get in the car, buddy. You need to sit down. You guys were fine until he got his hooks into Patrick, you. Patrick! What? Seriously, don't take the Lord's name in vain. Jesus Christ! What, does that offend you, Kirby? No. Does it make you feel uncomfortable? Just get back in the car! Who are you guys? You know, I remember a time when the two of you actually cared about somebody besides yourselves. Do you realize the entire time you've been here, you haven't once asked me how I'm doing? Maybe, you know, maybe, maybe I've got some things on my mind that I need to talk about, okay? You know, maybe I have no fucking friends in this town I can trust. Do you have any idea when it was that I had a decent night's sleep? I'm a nice, I'm a nice person. I, I try to do the right thing. If somebody leaves their blinker on, I don't honk my horn at them. I, I just, I just let them go. So I don't believe in a higher power. So what? So what? Are we all entitled to our own opinion? Are we supposed to be accepting and understanding of other people? When did everything get so fucking black and white? Look at me. What the fuck am I doing? I live in a town I despise. My father and I can't even spend five minutes in the room together. I'm actually contemplating breaking up with one of the most wonderful... Patrick. Coffee? Yeah. Thanks. Uh, 
How's he doing? Still unconscious. Doctor said it was an angina attack. Is he gonna be okay? They say, what caused it? Stress. Told him he smokes too, all right? Cause, yeah, he's know, not uh, chain no, smoker. No, smokes and doesn't. Uh... Hell of a way to spend Christmas Eve, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> My boss um, wanted to design this greeting card for the holidays, you know, for the, the holidays, you know. He said we were spending too much money on a card for Christmas, card for Hanukkah, card for Ramadan, card for Kwanzaa. Got a card for Kwanzaa? We got a card for Guy Freak and Fox Day. Anyway, he gets this idea, you know, my boss, um, that, you know, why have separate cards for these holidays? You know, if you just have one card for everybody, you know, just a uh, Swiss Army knife of cards, <laughs> that's what he called it. The problem there is, how do you make a card for Christmas and Hanukkah and, you know, how do you appease everyone and offend no one? You know, I said it couldn't be done, you know. These guys, they don't all play well together, you know. <laughs> Let me guess. It's your best-selling card. Sold four or five tops. So this wasn't meant as a uh, uplifting, hopeful holiday story. No, no. I never wanted to get married, you know? I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I love Lynn. I do. Kirby, you don't, you don't have to explain. She hadn't gotten pregnant. You got married because she got pregnant? I could not. Boy. I think you and Patrick are right. I've like created this world where like I can do whatever I want without any ramifications and no guilt. And that's scary. <laughs> My father just died. You would think I would want my family around me. You know, not a single day goes by that I don't think about that stupid fucking accident. Why did you take them, you know? Why did I get left here? These are questions I ask myself. Not, uh... I know it's irrational. I've talked to professionals. <laughs> you know, it's the stupid shit that you miss the most. Arguments or, um, whatever. I don't know, maybe I'm just a masochist. Why did everything get so complicated? You know, back in the day, Christmas was just about celebrating the winter solstice, you know? I mean, it was really simple back then, you know? You lived, you had a party. What time is it? Merry Christmas. I'm sorry. Happy Hanukkah. No, no, you, you know what? Um, <sighs> Merry Christmas, Kirby. Christmas album. Here we go.
What are you doing here? Alden called. How you feeling? Yeah, how's he doing? Why don't you ask him yourself? Dad? Oh, did the doctor say it was okay for him to talk? Why don't I see if I can find us some fresh coffee? Do either of you... No, want... thank you. I'll, I'll come with you. Well, he seems nice. He is. Well, the doctor said they wanted to keep you overnight. They do? What happened anyways? Somebody forgot to take their high blood pressure pills. Who? Wait, I take them. Well, I'm glad you're gonna be all right. I mean, that's the only important thing. I'm coming down here. Kirby was right. I should be decorating the rim of a margarita glass. Oh, come on, Dad. Don't tell me I wasted a good lot reference. Like, lot. As in lot from the Bible lot. What other lot would I be talking about? Big lots. You think that your attack was some kind of divine retribution for something you did? I looked, Dad. I shouldn't have looked. He doesn't like it when you look. Don't you think, son, that the fact that you're on your way to the hospital, I mean, don't you think you were kind of lucky? We were going in the completely wrong direction. Maybe if we were in the hospital, I'd see your point, but I need to learn how to drive stick. I don't know. I just think it's how you look at it. I mean, what if you were by yourself when the attack came? And, I mean, all by yourself, alone, lost, in the middle of nowhere. I mean, uh, I think you got it backwards. I think somebody up there has got their eye on you, in a good way. How did you find out, anyways? Well, Alden called Kevin, and Kevin called me, and geez, your mother and I got down here as fast as we could. We, you know, we, uh, we love you very much, you know. Kevin called you? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, your mother and I did that. Brought some clothes, we could stay at your. Well, we uh, we can get a hotel for a couple days, you know, just to get up on your feet again. So I've got plenty of room in the house, Dad. You can stay so you don't have to spend the. No, 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 no. I don't. I don't think that's such a good idea. Well, I, I mean, you know, I know how uncomfortable it makes you feel. Me? Well, yeah. No, it makes you uncomfortable. Well, I'm not uncomfortable. Yes. No. Yes. No, I'm not. Dad, you send us Christmas cards every year, and you never once put Kevin's name on them. I mean, obviously. Because you never told us. His. It's embar... Huh? I mean, how could we have sent him something when we didn't know what his name was? I'd like to send him gifts, but I don't know what he likes. Dislikes. I mean, we've never been introduced. Yes, you have. No, we haven't. When Kevin called me, it took me forever to figure out who he was. I mean, I thought he was trying to sell me something. Well, if you didn't know his name, why didn't you just ask? 
Well, because we didn't want to pry. Son, your mother and I don't really care who you date. As long as you're happy, that's all that really matters. See boobs. Nothing. Nothing. I hate hospitals. They always make you smell like formaldehyde. I'm surprised you can smell anything underneath all that sweat, mud, and billy ocean. <laughs> Hey, why don't we keep you all in this general area till we get you cleaned up? The last thing I want for Christmas is to have our house quarantined. You know, if that man were a woman, he would make an excellent wife. Oh, nice. I'm actually serious. I know. Dad, what are you doing? Isn't this where the television used to be? Yeah. There's a big uh, piano. How are we supposed to watch the game? I, I put the TV in the library. Oh. Where's that? Down the hall to the right. Oh, you mean the room your mother used to keep all her books in? six different restaurants, but everyone's closed. That's because it's Christmas, Mom. Nobody's open on Christmas. Well, what about that restaurant at the end of a, a Christmas story? You know, the Chinese place. It's a movie, Mom. I don't live in a Christmas story. What about the Andersons across the street? They always have a house full of food. I'm gonna go over and see if they'll loan us some of their sweet potatoes. You do still like sweet potatoes, don't you, honey? Thinking about selling the house. Now? Well, not now, but in the not too distant future. Is this because your dad and Kirby were making those Ted Kennedy jokes? I'm serious. Okay. How does it make you feel? About selling the house? I mean, we're gonna have to move. Unless we could buy our own house from ourselves. I mean, away. Oh. You know, you're also going to have to quit your job. And the downside of that is? Well, that wouldn't bother you. Have you been living under a rock? I hate my job. The commute sucks. I spend my life on that train. You know, my boss is an asshole. I, just because I gave him a gift doesn't mean I like him. Sure, the money's nice, but I can find some place that'll let me wear a tie. Makes me look thin. <laughs> you are thin. See? <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too. <laughs> hey, what the hell are you guys doing up there? Is it time to eat or what? Coming. How long are they going to be staying with us? I want to wish you all the best this joyous time of year to bring you season's greetings and fill your heart with cheer. But in this world of different fates, it's hard to comprehend. Not everyone shares Christmas, and I don't want 
to offend So happy Hanukkah or Kwanzaa As you bask in candlelight Have a prayer for Ramadan Or a peaceful solstice night I don't know which you celebrate So I'll just simply say Happy generic winter South, it's deep of folly if you travel back and forth. So many words, so little time. It's easier to say happy generic winter holiday. I walk on eggshells all the time because people get uptight. Goodwill toward men has turned into a drag out. Snowball fight, but whether you spin dreidels or you jingle all the way, happy generic winter holiday. Good morning, it's 5.30 a.m. Forecast for the day, partly sunny with a high of 20 degrees. I'm Erwin Fletcher, and you're listening awesome, to KATX awesome. All Hit Radio. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>